Thanks for watching KITV4 News Online. I'm Kenny Choi. Honolulu FBI agents have charged Halava prison guard Mark Damas with a conspiracy to distribute meth. Just two weeks ago, Halava officer James Kimo Sanders was indicted for smuggling meth into the prison. His trial has been set for March. Authorities say that the cases are separate and no conspiracy is alleged between the two. Opening statements expected today in the murder trial against Gerald Austin. He's accused of raping and strangling 81 year old Edith Skinner in her Waikiki condo back in 1989. The case remained cold until investigators found new evidence through DNA technology back in 2006, which then led to Austin's arrest in 2012. Court documents say that Austin told police he does not know anything about the incident. Starting today, the state will require Hawaii dentists to adhere to new guidelines on the use of sedatives on patients. This rule comes into effect and in the aftermath of the death of three year old Finley Boyle, who went into cardiac arrest after complications after oral sedation in the Kailua office of dentist Lily Geyer. The regulations require dentists to have advanced training in sedation and, and general anesthesia and to have in proper place monitoring and emergency equipment as well as staff. Maui police say that the ex boyfriend of Morera Monsalve is not officially a person of interest in her disappearance. Monsalve was last seen at her ex boyfriend's house on January 12th. Over the weekend, concerned friends scoured the west side of Wailuku searching for clues. This morning at the state capitol, lawmakers will talk about measures that address issues related to ocean harbor spills. This following last September's massive spill of 223,000 gallons of molasses into Honolulu Harbor, which killed fish and wildlife. Watch KITV4 News tonight for the latest. Paul Drews is here with your island weather forecast, Paul. And we've got surf to talk about, along with plenty of clouds for the state. Let's start out in the water. High surf warnings up until noon, and then surf dropping a notch into the 15 to 20 foot range for northern shores, 10 to 15 feet. Out west. This swell gradually backing off before another moderate northwesterly swell comes in on Wednesday, followed by yet another swell on Friday. As far as our island weather is concerned, lots of clouds and increasing wind throughout the day. You can see all those clouds on our satellite imagery. A cold front that moved down the island chain was followed by lots of clouds, and they'll be with us throughout the day today. That front still over Maui County, and that's where we're seeing plenty of showers this morning. Out ahead of the front, southwesterly winds for the Big Island, but as that front continues to move down the islands, those southwesterly winds will disappear and be replaced by northerly winds. That's what most of the state is seeing this morning, and those winds will be picking up, getting breezy by the end of the day at 10 to 25 miles an hour. And as that front moves over the southern end of the state, because of a little bit more instability over the islands, we could see some more showers and even some thunderstorms for the Big Island later tonight and into tomorrow. Here's a look at what we're expecting statewide for the next few days. Breezier weather for our Tuesday, but those showers mainly over the Big Island. Drier conditions by midweek, and then those winds turning more southerly by the end of the week. Hazy skies in the forecast before another cold front comes our way on Saturday and Sunday. All right, Paul, thank you. And thank you for watching KITV4 News Online. We're constantly updating the website, so look for new stories later today on KITV4 News 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for logging on and clicking. Have a great day.